Welcome back. You're with your Feel Good Breakfast Show as we see in the weekend. And it's a big weekend for football fans. The Barclays Premiership, well, the fan park is on tour in Cape Town. And soccer fans will get the chance to get up close and personal with the English Premier League trophy this weekend. And we get to meet some former players, visit Team Tents, watch matches live on a giant screen. EPL Live will take place at Camps Bay High School this weekend. Um, and this morning, we are, I'm actually completely starstruck. We've got a Barclays Premier League legends, Robbie Fowler, Paul Tegov and Sean Gota in studio. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. A very early start. Very early. Very, very <laughs> early. I know this is um, why we have so many beautiful people on set here, just to welcome you guys. But what an opportunity for South African fans. Robbie, I'm going to put this to you. What was it like coming to this far corner of Africa and finding this kind of support, not only for your team, obviously, that you've given so much service to, but for the league that you've, you've played well, in? Oh, look, I think, I mean, I've been here before, South Africa, so um, I've looked at support we get over here. I mean, individually, it's magnificent, but um, coming over here as part of uh, the Barclays Premier League is fantastic. There's many clubs here, City, Chelsea, Liverpool, uh, all, you know, as you mentioned, the fan park. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a special weekend, I think. Magnificent support, and, uh, you know, we, we really, really appreciate it. Um, and we really appreciate the fact that you guys have come out. Paul, maybe I can put this to you. Where, um, obviously, um, you were known for a very... Um, Aggressive, very physical style of play. What, what would you say sets um, the English style of football, the, the Barclays Premiership style of football aside? Um, I think it's unique. I think, you know, going back to when, when we played, I think the physical side of it's sort of gone out the window a little bit now, you know, and I think if I played now, I'll probably get sent off every week, you know. But, <laughs> but the, English, the English game, the British game, the Barclays Premier League, you know, it's, it's really intense, you know, from... Every game you play, you know, Saturday, Tuesday to Saturday. Um, and I think that's the one thing that makes it exciting. You know, you've seen the league this year. You know, who would have thought Leicester City would be up the top? Uh, um, oh, West Ham in the top five as well, you know. And it makes it competitive and it makes it an exciting league for everybody. What is happening in the league at the moment? Maybe I can put this to all three of you, James. What, what has brought about this complete shift? Look, at I think, look, regardless of what's happening, I think it's magnificent. You yeah. know, from an outsider looking in, you know, as opposed to the, you know, the Man City, the Chelsea's, the Manchester United's being top all the time. I think it's refreshing to see someone else, uh, someone else on the top. Leicester have been magnificent all season, and more often than they're not in the Barclays Premier League. You know, the most consistent team generally wins the Premier League. So um, you know, you see Leicester top. Uh, you know, Tottenham are Tottenham are playing really, really well as well. So uh, it's a great, great spectacle at the minute. Yeah, and we're loving it, even this far away from the UK. Um, Sean, I'm going to put this to you. Obviously, you've got, I don't know, maybe one foot on either side of, of Manchester this coming weekend. Talk to us about a Manchester Man City derby. Why is that such an incredible game? Why does it bring about such a huge amount of excitement? Well, the derbies are extra special, you know. Um, and obviously, Robbie will play in the, in the Liverpool derbies, but the Man United derbies, you, the Man United Man City derbies, it's so special. You, you cannot go around town without the fans mentioning to you about the game, how important it is. You know, it's, it's really who's going to be, you know, the talk of the town. Uh, so it's, exciting. It's, it's really exciting. And we know that that seed has to be planted at a very early age. In a league as competitive as this one, we need our development structures, and that's a very big part of why you guys are here. What are you going to be doing whilst you're here in South Africa in terms of spreading those skills, that love of the game? Well, look, obviously Barclays have, uh, have been fantastic. The Premier League over here. Uh, look, we've been, you know, this is the third one we've done. We've been in Johannesburg, we've been in Mumbai, now we're in Cape Town. And really, just obviously promoting the league, but also promoting, um, you know, youth soccer, wherever we've been. So, uh, there's a, as I said, there's Camp Spade, there's a fan park. Uh, we're going to be there. Uh, there's a lot of the lads, you know, showcasing, uh, well, I'm not saying showcase, but I think we're, we're going to try and, try and do our little bit. So I would say... I'm still not, humble yeah. after all of these years. I love it. Yeah, but we're, we're obviously doing our, our bits and pieces. I mean, obviously, Jason McAtee is here. So there's various other members who've, who've played in the Barclays Premier League. So, um, yeah, make sure you get down and uh, come and support us. Um, uh, you, you will not be disappointed. Well, I, I can guarantee you that there will be legions of South African fans yeah. out there to support you. Gentlemen, thank you so much for the service that you continue to do, not only for football, but uh, for our little um, hub of football here on our corner of Africa. We love having you here, gentlemen. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for having us. But it looks like something shiny and new has just been opened on the other side of the studio. Zoe.